Hi, this is Veronica Monet, and I have a question for you. Are you comfortable telling people that you really care about? No. <laughs> Most of us find it pretty difficult to say those words, especially if we want to keep the connection going. If we really care about somebody, we want them to be happy, right? But there's just some things that don't work for us. Well, how do we communicate that? I've developed something called the Exquisite Partnership Formula. Now, it's got five steps to it. I'm only going to talk about the first four in this video. For the fifth step, I'm saving for a separate video, which will um, go into more detail about that. But these first four steps are pretty easy once you get them down. So for the sake of our illustration here, let's just imagine that your partner came to you and suggested something sexual that they'd really like to try with you. Maybe the conversation would go like this, honey, I just saw something on a video or in a magazine and I really found it intriguing and I'd sure like for us to try it. And for the sake of our illustration here, let's just imagine it, it's something you've done before and you hated it. You're never doing that again, okay? Now what do you do? What do you say? You know, for a lot of us, we say, well, let's be honest and just simply say, um, I hate that, I think it's disgusting, and I never want to do it. The result of that kind of a response is probably going to be shaming. Your partner's probably going to feel um, really, really embarrassed and possibly ashamed that they even had the desire, but certainly embarrassed that they brought it to you. You don't want that kind of um, a response from your partner. You do want them to communicate with you and share their fantasies with you. So it's really important that we don't shame them. And the solution to that is to validate their feelings, okay? You don't have to agree with feelings. You don't have to agree to do anything. Just validate it. And, and it, it would go something like this. Oh, yeah, I know lots of people find that interesting. Um, I could totally understand why you might want to try it with me. Now, on the heels of that, after we validate, we want to appreciate the reason we want to appreciate it is we want to keep those communication channels open. We want your partner to come back with other ideas. You don't want to shut things down and kill this connection. So you want to appreciate, wow, thank you so much for bringing that to me. I'm really um, flattered and touched that you want to do that with me. That makes me feel really important to you, and I really appreciate that. And then right on the heels of that, you're going to say your no. And it's going to be a, a no that's firm, because we are actually talking about something you're not willing to compromise about. If, if you were, that would be a totally different discussion. This is just a no for when you are absolutely not available to do something. So you'd say, well, um, I actually have no desire to do that, or I've done that in the past and I hated it, and I'm not willing to ever do it again. And if you stopped there, now your partner's kind of having a roller coaster ride here. First, you're validating them, now you're appreciating them, and now you're saying no. And if you say no at that point, the bottom drops out. They just, that's it. So we don't want to just stop at no, but this is not a negotiated or compromised no. This is a firm no, followed very quickly with an invitation. And it would go something like this. I don't ever plan on doing that. I have no desire or interest in that. However, there is something I have been dying to try with you. Now, the whole idea is to invite your partner into something else. Because after all, isn't connection what you're shooting for? I mean, isn't that what you really want? What you both want, that shared value that you both have, is to be connected. And if it's a romantic relationship, certainly enjoying great sex. So you don't want to lose sight of that. And that's why this five-step process, the, fi the fifth step, just to tell you, is if, let's say, your partner doesn't like your idea either. <laughs> well, then you kind of have an impasse. And we'll cover that in the next video where I describe the step, the fifth step in the exclusive partnership formula. But right now, let's just summarize. Your partner is going to bring something to you that you absolutely positively have no interest in. First thing you're going to do is validate them for being a human being with normal desires and thoughts and feelings. And then you're going to appreciate them for bringing those desires to you and wanting to be 
that close with you and do whatever it was they wanted to do with you because that means you're very special to them. And then you're going to say an absolute no because it's not open for discussion. And you're going to follow it very quickly with a very enthusiastic, maybe even a flirtatious invitation to do something else. So thanks for tuning in and I will soon be posting that fifth step for what happens if neither one of you can agree 